Hey, I'm back, and today we're going to talk about an interesting connection between poor posture and vitamin D. Now, you may know vitamin D is involved with calcium metabolism. Most people know that. But there's a secondary major function of vitamin D that many people don't know about, and that is this, the development of osteoclasts. What is that? Those are the cells in your bone that actually help you absorb calcium. So vitamin D actually helps those cells develop so you can make bone. Now, when a child is severely deficient in vitamin D, they get this condition called rickets, okay? Like bowed legs. It starts to affect the structure of the skeleton. Well, there's a mild version of rickets. You see this in adults and even teenagers. It's called osteomalacia, okay? So it's a milder version of rickets in which you're getting a lack of mineralization of the skeletal system. So you don't have the strong support of, let's say, the arches on your feet or the, the, your back. So one of the symptoms of osteomalacia or vitamin D deficiency is kyphosis, which is basically hunchback. You, your posture starts going forward like this because you don't have the minerals to support the structure. So this is just another important reason to take vitamin D or get enough sun, uh, especially for your kids. Uh, if you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, you need to take vitamin D for sure. One last point. One of the first symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency and one of the big symptoms of osteomalacia is aches and pains. So if you have any aches or pains or especially low back pain, try some vitamin D you may notice some really great improvement on that.